Hey there, we are working on your hanging mobiles. We are, this is a hanger that uh, I brought in, bent it with my pure brute strength and painted it green. Then I brought a shell from home and put that on for my first hanging uh, item on my hanging mobile. We are now going to look at what we're gonna start hanging from it. And one of the things was a clay bead. This was my bird, gah, gah, and I made a little hole in there to um, put the string through so I can have my bird hanging on my mobile. And today we're gonna dive into wire sculpture. Okay, so wire sculptures. Wire, and if you use the wire cutters, be careful, use the middle area. I have some silver wire, I have colored wire, and we are gonna also look at wire sculpture on the internet. So what you did is have a plan with a theme in how to uh, create items that have uh, like a little story on your mobile. Now if you are painting your clay, I just want to show you, you dunk right into the acrylics. There's no need to use the palette. We'll use uh, the colors straight pure from the paint bottle and that way your uh, bead before you hang it on your hanging mobile will look really cool. So when you paint it and I'm gonna add like a bee color and different colors and do my bird with different colors. So I just want to show you that we're working on uh, more than one thing at a time and wipe off your brush like that and try not to waste the acrylic cleaning off the top before you go to your wire sculpture. All right, so that's how to care for your supplies. I'm gonna wash that off just like you guys I know will. All right, let's look at what the internet's showing us for wire sculptures because I'm hoping you guys know to research the internet and get ideas, okay? I really like that fish. Should we dive into the fish? Yes, I think we should. I need my two hands, and I'm gonna start with my silver. The fish is going in that direction. Let me tilt this so you can see it. And then we're gonna look